Hello everyone, I hope you had a wonderful day and you are having a wonderful day in wherever you are in this world. So today I'm reviewing this Matrix Audio Mini i3 Pro uh, Digital Analog Converter Headphone Amp and pre-amplifier all in one together. This one also have a capability of streaming uh, music directly from your smart devices. It has a dedicated uh, streaming input. And this one is also capable of RON and MQA capability with all the high-res playback like uh, you know DSD audio or BCM high-res playback. Everything is very much capable with very good quality playback system and musical sounding digital loop analog converter that you can have in this price point. So main selling point of this digital loop analog converter in my opinion is you can use as a good quality sounding uh, digital analog converter as well as pre-amplifier and headphone amp. So headphone amp session is pretty good. Uh, not as good as the yeah, SMSL uh, SP400 or those kind of headphone amplifier, but it's very good sounding headphone amplifier with very good uh, control and drive, driving power with all the headphones that I have, either planar magnetic or regular headphones. So I really enjoy listening with this headphone amplifier enjoyable experience with great authority and detailed sound quality reproduction of this uh, mini i3 pro and uh, build quality fit and finish is very good features and functions are very rich i mean a lot of features and functions that you can go through as you will see here in uh, my setting and menu walkthrough and this remote control is probably the best quality remote control that you can have because this is the uh, solidly built uh, remote control with aluminum faceplate. So this is really good design. I mean, for the price, only I think is if they can do like a SD card playback or if they can let user attach the hard drive, man, this could be a real great candidate for one component do it all. I mean, system, I mean, you can use it as a pre-amplifier, you can use it as a headphone amplifier, and you have a very good sounding digital loop and lock converter. All you need is connect to your power amplifiers or you can connect to your active speakers. The overall sound quality is very clear, clean and transparent sound. Every notes is properly reproduced with very good transparency to uh, recorded music. I mean, anything that having your music, it will deliver it back to you without any interruption, without any coloration. That is a clean, neutral sound signature of this Matrix i3 Pro. I really enjoy the way that they deliver the sound back to you without interference, without adding any coloration, human voices and vocals, everything is greatly you know, naturally reproduce without any richness or any darkness to the uh, male voices like some digital analog converter does. And musical notes are of course very good sounding and overall transparent sound that anybody can enjoy listening to their music. I try with this Cap R11 as well as the Wafter Evo 4.2 in my music den. This Cap R11 is very neutral uh, frequency response in this room and this DAC provide great authority and detailed sound quality that I can totally enjoy listening to any sort of music. Doesn't matter what genre you're gonna throw at them, they will deliver it back to you with neutrality and transparency plus musical soundscape and dynamics with overall white and deep soundstage that we can enjoy listening to. Soundstage is very spacious. So that is the uh, highlight and my favorite point of this digital loop analog converter. This Matrix Audio Mini i3 Pro also features the, uh, the very same digital analog converter chip as the uh, Suncos uh, SGD1 DAC. 
but this one has a little bit more refined sound with the uh, a little bit uh, more precision sound quality that we can enjoy and we can truly appreciate my favorite part of this deck is there is an analog rca input so which you can connect to another device use it as the pre-amplifier and to play your music through this DAC using it as a pre-amplifier so which i think is the great features that we can truly appreciate and i really enjoy using that feature as well i try that in my different system and they sounded very good i mean that's for the price and everything in consideration this one has offer very good uh, decent sound quality as a pre pre-amplifier as well if you are not really picky about you know particular sound signature this one will get the job done for your musical enjoyment and everyday music playback so overall sound quality fit and finish features and functions everything as good as it can be in this price point i would add uh, at least hard drive or uh, add-on option like usb input so usb attachment or at least sd card then this one will give a lot of uh, digital analog converter run for the money especially you know idsd pro that similarity you know sound quality and everything i slightly prefer on this one than the idsd pro because this one is total uh, refinement that i can easily enjoy listening to my favorite music but please keep in mind this one is a clean and neutral sounding meaning anything that you have in music it will deliver it back to you without adding any coloration or any adding the uh, dsp effects and also you can play around with the filter setting all my music listening i went through with either RCA output or XLR balance output through uh, my systems and you know I use the standard factory filter so if you are looking for one component do it all like uh, music streamer using your smart devices like RON capability and MQA playback capable DSD capable high res everything that you can play through with this deck and bonus is big bonus in my opinion is you can use as a pre-amplifier more so than other digital to analog converter is this one has the uh, dedicated analog input not only the uh, you know analog outs the, this one has the uh, RCA analog inputs and plus headphone amp so which is very good sounding headphone amp as well so if you are looking for this price point and features and functions and you know everything is very good quality very capable digital to analog converter with decent pre-amplifier with good headphone amp highly recommend it if you are looking for this price point right now i'm at the uh, volume control at fixed because i was only using the uh, digital to analog converter this one main knob in front can do uh, volume control and input selection input selection you can choose this line input which is the uh, analog uh, rca input so you, if you want to use it as the uh, pre-amplifier you can use it using that line input this is coaxial input optical input i square s input and usb audio and bluetooth so th these are all main input selectors you can choose from and you can also choose the streaming if you like but please don't think this unit as the uh, full capable uh, streamer is only uh, feature as the uh, streaming input so this streaming meaning you can connect to your Tidal app or you can connect to your RON app and you can play your music so this is your streaming input selector switch so it's not the full capable streamer it's just the streaming input so that is i just want to clarify that so right now time being my main music listening went through with the sd and pcm format using the usb input selector switch so if you want to go more detail into setting you can go through hitting the i button in the back 
right here, right next to the, uh, you know, power inlet. This is the uh, filter that you can choose from. So these are all the different filters that you can choose from. It even shows the uh, filter curve. So line out mode, right now I'm only using as the uh, fixed mode because I'm not using headphone amplifier in my system. So when I'm using the headphone amp, I can switch it to adjustable mode, which I can control the uh, volume control knob. And this is a line gain. Gain, I use the uh, standard gain at zero decibel. This line input detection is, I leave it on. So PLS setting, I'm only using at the normal setting. This is the also very uniquely feature setting that not many digital look and lock converter come with it. And this is Bluetooth pairing option. So if you want to pair with Bluetooth, you can go through the menu here. Next thing is I square S configuration. They have a four different type of a configuration that you can choose from, different from what pin that signal that they are configure. So that is, uh, I don't use it. So this is, I just leave it as it is, came from the factory. After that, that is a hearing protection. That is really good for the, uh, you know, people that heavily use the, the headphone for their music listening. So that way they will help them protect from over loudness and next thing is this remote control uh, feature setting this one is very unique feature as well not a lot of components come with this setting that is a really good feature you know switching the uh, interface and miss operation and all that and you can also do the uh, background change it to black or bright or whatever you desire you can choose it and this is the brightness of the screen that you can change right now at the high position then this is the auto so it will adjust the brightness so whichever one you desire that is the uh, uh, brightness controls and next thing is this standby mode function so there is five minutes ten minutes and disable whichever you desire you can choose it from right now I'm at the uh, disable position and network right now I'm only connected with the Wi-Fi. If you want to connect to LAN, you can connect it using the LAN cable. I only use Wi-Fi for the, uh, you know, internet streaming with Tidal and, you know, a little bit of music streaming, which is sounded pretty good. So language, that is a menu setting and language that you can choose. That is English or Chinese. So those are all the settings that I play with. If you want to reset it, you can choose load default and it will reset to factory setting. So which is I really like. This is your very well thought out a menu system that they have in this matrix or digital loop, analog converters and headphone amps, which is I think is a, probably one of the best menu that you can use for your digital music playback and seeing everything on the screen. Even when you play music through the uh, streaming input, you can even see the album art and, you know, music information as well. So which is good. This is the uh, back of the unit. This is the Bluetooth antenna. This is LAN port, USB-C input. This is I square S optical coaxial. This is RCA input, RCA output and balance output and you can also change the uh, voltage of the unit by sliding this switch so which is worldwide compatible so that's it my friend that is uh, my quick review thank you for watching and happy listening <laughs>
Buy me a best of shoes. Buy me a best of shoes. And Schlossen of your name. Ich sag dir, Bella, Bella, da, 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 mich ganz da, Mein Herz da, schnell und schnell, da, du küsst mich wundervoll. da, 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 Ich muss es gestehen, viel schöner als alles an der Welt.
Dankeschön.